Why waste a wall wart when there's wire within? Let's see what we could do with this when we smash it open. I'm Tom Kovichak and this is Tom's Trains and Things. This channel was created to help other modelers who are in need of guidance in pursuing their dream of building a model railroad. And we're going to take apart one of these wall warts so we can get the wire within it. Now, I just smashed one up and I'll show you how I did it, but here's the inside of one. It's a 120 volt primary with a 24 volt AC secondary on it. There's some good wire in here that we could use to solder on some SMD LEDs. And that's what we're going to do with it. We're going to smash this apart and we're going to take it apart so you could see all the good stuff that's inside of it. So let's get going with that right now. Perfect. Debbie likes going to the thrift store, especially the Lions Club thrift store. And whenever we're there, I may pick up a few wall warts just for the sake of uh, having some extra power available. I don't do that anymore since I use the uh, power supply for my computer. I got uh, actually two of them now, but I have a collection of wall warts and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these apart and use the wires from the transformer inside, which is probably 30 or anywhere from 30 to 40 gauge wire and use that to solder onto my SMD LEDs that I purchased. And you can see the little package right there. Now I removed one from the packaging and you could see how small it is. This is one of those cups you get when they give you medicine in the hospital. And that's the little LED, that's the, the back side of it where I have to solder the wires on. Let me flip it over. And it's not going to flip over. I could do this a thousand times and it, there we go. And this is a warm white LED. So we're going to work on some of those. And I have another uh, order coming in where you could snip off the, uh, where you could snip off three of them at a time. And it has the resistors built into it in the strip. So uh, I'm going to do a video on that also. I've chosen this 9 volt AC transformer simply because I don't think I'll be using 9 volt AC on anything. And normally, well on some, they'll have screws on the bottom where it makes it very easy to take apart, but this one doesn't have anything. This has a plate on the top, so I'm going to try to pry this off. Uh, I already started, but I'm going to do it off camera since it might be a little messy when I'm trying to do it. So I'll show you what it looks like after I have it off. I was hoping uh, once I got this off that there might be some screws underneath there, but obviously there isn't. So what I'm going to have to do is take this outside on the uh, patio or sidewalk and get my uh, small two pound sledgehammer and just smash it. Smashing transformers and see if that helps. Well, an easier way than using my two pound sledgehammer was to take my claw hammer and my six in one tool putty knife and just slice along the edges of here where it can come apart. I just have to do the back end now, but I don't want to mess up the cord because I'm going to use the entire cord 
If you never saw the inside of a wall wart, especially a AC one, because it doesn't convert it to DC, there's no other circuitry. So all it is is just a little transformer in here. Here's the primary for 120 volts. And here's the secondary for 9 volts. And we're going to take this apart and see if we could unwind the wiring off of here. Not bad for 50 cents. Now that I have all the covering off of this transformer, you'll notice this back here is the primary. This is the wires that come from your wall socket. Okay, that's the one that has the thinner wires on there, and there's more turns on this coil than there is on the secondary. Now the secondary is the 9 volt and it has the heavier gauge wire on it. Now when I cut the, the tape on here, I ended up cutting several strands of the wire. The wire on the primary is very, very thin. I won't be able to use that, but I'll be able to use this wire right here. Now this wire right here, I'm not sure what gauge that wire is, but I it is really thin and I, once I get it all apart I'll measure it to see what the diameter of the wire is and uh, we'll be able to determine what gauge it is from there. So that's what the inside of a coil looks like and between here and here there is no electrical connection. It is one coil up against another coil producing an electromagnetic force. But that's how transformers work. Now you see I got all the tape out of here and I got the wire out this way. And you gotta take, take the metal parts apart. The hardest one is getting the first layer out. And then once you do that, then this is what all of them look like. They alternate going this way and then the next one will be coming out the other way. But once you get it started, and you got to get these laminates separated, and you just uh, pry in between them. But once you get that thing, once you get that started, they'll come out pretty easy. And then you could just pull, you know, you'll have the whole coil right there, and you can unravel it. Now you see, I have a lot of the laminates out already. And once you get them started, all you got to do is just separate them a little bit, and you can keep going with it. And some of them are more difficult than others, but once you get going, you get them done in no time. Okay, that one's going that way. There we go. That little thing right there. So once you get them out, You just go around with your blade, and this is an old blade, so don't worry about it. And when you know when I try to do it on camera, it won't let it won't come apart easy. Okay, there we go. There's that side, that side. Now what I did was I tried to separate these as much as I could with my chisel or my putty knife to get these started. Sometimes you have some difficult ones that don't, just don't want to come apart. They stick a little bit more than the others. Now that we've got the last three, there we go. And then here's the last one. There. And there's your coil. And you can unravel this right here. And you have your wire to 
work on your SMD LEDs. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these small ones out of here so they don't get in the way. So there you have it. Now here's all the laminated parts that came out of there. And basically all they do is just go in like that from either end and then they get a spacer in between them. All that was in this little box right here. Okay. So now that we got it apart, we can use the wire for our... SMD and if you want to see how big that hundred roll of a hundred warm white lights look there's 99 of them right there because I took out one of them already so we'll be working on that in another project in the next episode we're gonna take some of these SMDs right here and we're gonna solder that wire on to these now I showed you what they look like over here before and I have one of them in this little cup right here and that's the little SMD LED in there and we're gonna take that wire and we're gonna solder that on there and hopefully I'll get enough cameras on there so we could get some good footage of me soldering on those little itty bitty LEDs so stay tuned for that one that one's coming up in the next week. If you would like to see more of these videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you would like to contribute to my Patreon page so I can produce more videos like this and other videos on model railroading for beginners, go ahead on over to my Patreon page and take a look at that and go ahead and contribute. All it takes is one dollar, just one dollar per video. And you could even lock that down into just one dollar so one video so you could only pay one dollar per month and that will get me going i have a few patrons right now who are contributing and i'll put a list of them right over here and i have some dollar contributors some five dollar contributors and 25 dollar contributors so thank you very much that's helping me out a lot and We'll see ya.